Good afternoon. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of our, our company, Gearzy, to appreciate this opportunity from ITME Society for collaboration between Gearzy and Indian ITME Society to be a knowledge partner for this very important uh, event. Before we begin this afternoon's uh, panel discussion, in order to set the tone for this discussion and in order to provide a broader context for what is happening in Africa and what are the opportunities within the global textile industry, we have prepared a short presentation. The good news is that the textile consumption is on a long-term growth. Consumption of textiles in the world will be increasing from the current level of about 14 kilos to about 16 kilos per capita. So this presents a great opportunity for all of us across the textile industry. Without much ado, uh, I would like to introduce the distinguished uh, panel that we have and uh, kickstart the discussion. So ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, uh, nine panelists and I have the pleasure to welcome them. Mr. Hari Shankar, please. Good afternoon, everyone. Now, at the moment, the global buzzword everywhere is Africa. So our plan is to take ITMI and ITMI skill set to Africa to help explore a myriad of possibilities to help cater to the whole market. Thank you, Mr. Hari Shankar. I would like to now turn to Ato Malaku Ezezwe, who is the president of the Ethiopian Chamber of Commerce uh, and Sectoral Associations in Ethiopia. And my question to him is, you know, what is the role of your uh, chamber in facilitating FDI into Ethiopia? Nowadays, Africa is integrating. Africa is economically integrating through the African continent free trade area. So many countries in the world have come to Africa for the investment nowadays. Especially when you consider Ethiopia, uh, from uh, the African countries, the most foreign direct investment is coming to Ethiopia. Thank you. Let me congratulate uh, His Excellency Otto Demeke for the reforms that your young Prime Minister has uh, launched, a very dynamic uh, Prime Minister in the Ethiopian continent. And I would like to congratulate your government for making Ethiopia as the preferred destination for FDI into the textile and apparel uh, sector, you know. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, since April 2018, there is a new, uh, there is a, a sweeping political and economic reform being undertaken by our new prime minister. You know, in order to attract foreign investment, uh, what we need is, you know, peace and stability is very important. And to bring peace and stability, you know, uh, the political climate has to be more conducive. When we look at 2017-18, Ethiopia FDI is, 3.7 billion USA dollar. It is the largest in Africa and the second largest FID flow to LDC countries. And the concentration when we see is the largest share of this FDI is in textile and the garment. This is what I want to, to, to contribute. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. You are not only a diplomat, but you are a, an economist fully equipped with facts and figures about your country, you know. Congratulations, you know. Let me now turn to Otto Seleshi Lemma, whom I have known from uh, 2002. So I would like to ask you, Otto Seleshi, about what role your insti institution has been uh, playing, and if you could please share the textile vision uh, for the audience uh, here. First of all, my country, we have uh, developed policies and strategies. National policies and strategies in different sectors. 
when you look at all these policies and strategies, they have given top number one priority for textile and garment manufacturing sector. So we have adopted an industrial strategy, policy, which has emphasized the textile and garment sector as number one priority, as I mentioned. Thank you, Otto Seleshi. I would like to turn to Mr. Venugopal. Uh, your program is uh, playing a crucial role in building trade relations between India and especially uh, East Africa, you know, to facilitate investment, transfer of Indian knowledge and expertise. Would you please uh, share your recent experiences with us, with the audience? The one thing that we as an agency do is participatory design. So right from the time we looked at what the priorities were, the first document that came out, and uh, I quote uh, Ato Seleshi when he said that the 2016 strategy for Ethiopia's textile and apparel industry that came out is their strategy. What we did is we helped them get there. What we did is we convened along with him the stakeholders. What we did is break it down into priorities. One is transfer of knowledge. Two is embedding transfer of knowledge with change of behavior. Three is getting prioritization in there. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to request Mr. Mahim Jain to uh, throw some light on how his institute or what role is his institute playing in terms of ensuring standards in the Indian engineering uh, industry to ensure that what they export is really world class. The harmonization of the Indian, of the national or the international standards is also very important when it comes to cross-border trade. So uh, if uh, this is there, we have a standardization, it will certainly help in the uh, government of India's campaign of Make in India and it would also uh, help in actually strengthening the international uh, the textile and the uh, industry across the globe as well as in India. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jain. We are quite fortunate to have the representative from Indian Exim Bank, uh, Mr. Karthikeyan. So, Mr. Karthikeyan, would you please uh, highlight some uh, avenues, funding avenues for textile projects that your institution uh, makes available? Coming to Exim Bank's role, I think uh, most of you are uh, already aware the Exim Bank is apex body institution financing India's international trade. One of the niche program of Exim Bank for international investments is the Overseas Investment Finance Program. Basically, this uh, since our inception, we have uh, funded the projects more than 600 uh, joint ventures in overseas, covering 78 countries including African countries. So these are the funding options from Exim Bank for the cross-border transactions, especially from the Indian side. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Karthikin. Let me ask uh, Mr. Updeep Singh, who's the deputy CEO of a large uh, industrial conglomerate, the Satluj Group, to highlight what would motivate his company to invest in uh, Africa? The only criteria which we look at is it should make economic sense. Now it is a global village, what we call the world as, and wherever it makes economic sense, we would like to invest in, number one. Number two, this economic sense should be sustainable. We should have a right skill set available. This is another thing which we look at as the availability of the resources, manpower resources. And the third, we look at the stability of the government. So these are the things which we primarily look at while we scout for the investment uh, avenues outside India or within India as well. 
Thank you, Mr. Updeep Singh. I think it's a very clear message for uh, the policy makers to uh, address. At the end of this session, I mean, we come back to our constituency. That's the textile uh, machinery. So I have uh, uh, Taxpayers uh, Machine Works, represented by their director, Mr. Himanshu Doshi, uh, with his uh, colleague, Mr. Sangvi, you know. Could you please share your thoughts on, uh, you know, uh, expanding your machinery or your spares business to Africa? What opportunities do you see and how equipped you are to take advantage of that? Uh, thank you, Mr. Sodhi. I'll fill in for... Uh Mr. Doshi, uh, there are three companies basically, Techspare Machine Works, Umargaon Textile Machines and uh, Endurance Wear Solutions uh, and they have been catering primarily to winding solutions for uh, stitching, embroidery and uh, other kinds of uh, threads and yarns uh, in the textile as well as in some other industries. Uh, from what I understand, they've been working in Ethiopia itself for the last probably 20 years, uh, providing different kinds of uh, uh, solutions to the industry out there. And uh, their experience so far has been very good. Uh, they've, uh, I mean, uh, so which means that they're looking at expanding or investing much more time, effort and money uh, in uh, the African countries. And we believe that uh, it may Africa will provide a very nice opportunity uh, for better exposure for such companies uh, uh, to the other countries and other economies in Africa. Thank you, Mr. Doshi. You. I think that was a very pithy remark, and I'm sure he was also speaking on behalf of the industry uh, that it's a, it's a great continent to do business with, and there are opportunities for other manufacturers of uh, textile capital goods as well as consumables and uh, spares and all. So India ITME Society signed the MOU with the representatives from Ethiopian Chamber of Commerce and Sectoral Associations. The event also saw the launch of a brochure and the website of the event. Mementos were exchanged as a gesture to forge a new era in the development of textile industry in Africa. A video presentation of the event ITME Africa 2020 was also shown to the participants. The pre-event to ITME Africa saw an exhibition to showcase the offerings by the textile fraternity for participants from different countries. A new dawn is on the horizon for ITME Africa 2020. Prosperity for Africa through textile technology. A very hearty welcome here this morning at our prestigious launch of ITME Africa 2020. India today stands as the second largest textile industry in the world. Africa at the moment is a continent where there's a huge growth and overall global focus. For ITME Africa 2020, ITME Society was able to narrow down and partner with Ethiopia to host our event in 2020. Today with India's strength in textiles and textile engineering industry, we are well positioned to partner with Ethiopia to facilitate the industry through the sharing of knowledge and technology. The theme of the show happens to be prosperity for Africa through textile technology. This show is supported by the Ministry of Textiles, by the Government of India, by the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, Ethiopian Textile Industry Development Institute, and International Trade Center as our trade and investment partner. Ethiopia happens to be the home of the African Union and has potential to be the gateway to bring prosperity to Africa through textiles and textile engineering products. Because of good connectivity and infrastructure and logistics, we are hoping to welcome participants from right across the rest of Africa, where we see a strong potential from the Eastern African countries, uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Uganda, 
This global event is born of friendship, aspiration, and goodwill. It Me Africa 2020 is the right time and the right place to aspire, to compete, and to explore. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Harishankar, for uh, sharing your uh, vision and your uh, leadership in taking the India ITME Society uh, to futuristic uh, goal. Uh, it is very interesting that uh, we are together taking steps towards growth. India ITME Society along with the ITME Africa event, the society is also uh, progressing from uh, not only the textile engineering, but also the complete solutions uh, from the raw material to the fiber, the products, the textile fabrics, accessories, machineries, financial solutions, and so the society can be instrumental in providing a one-stop solution for the textile segment of India and Africa. Uh, now, a request to uh, hear from our chief guest, Mr. Uh, Sileshi Lema. The launch of uh, this program today is very unique for us. And I'm very happy to see signing of Memorandum of Understanding to make similar of collaboration and partnership within their area of specialization. I believe this is the type of technology transfer, know-how transfer, not only in terms of machinery and equipment, but knowledge is very critical and very important. So we are very advantageous to take the lesson from India at my society. And I believe that our chambers will take forward such type of initiative in the future as well, not only in Ethiopia, but to the rest of Africa. So thank you so much, and see you in Ethiopia, in your capital city. I thank you very much. Mr. Sime, you would want to take over uh, this part. Thank you so much, Sima. Uh, it's uh, a great privilege and honor for us to be here today on this uh, historic event. We want to bring this event to Africa uh, with a big surprise. And uh, we want to uh, bring the strengths of India and opportunity of Africa on this platform in 2020. Textile, as you know, is the backbone of industrialization on which uh, Africa is uh, crying on, the crying need of Africa. And you have a very good competitive advantage in this sector that you can more exploit uh, in the continent. So Ethiopia is the fastest growing uh, country in the continent. We have a very clear, uh, you know, focused uh, target of being uh, an industrial, industrial hub of the continent uh, within the coming 5, 10, uh, 20 years. So textile is going to serve that uh, path uh, with a very support and collaborative uh, support of uh, India. And I would like to thank you again, the ITME Society and its leadership. Thank you so much.